Yo, yo, yo! How we doing? Fellas? Girls? Guys? LBGT Plus? Q? Z? Y? And all the rest of it. Uh, welcome one and all, and um, I guess we're back again for some more, some more footy. <laughs> Shawnee, Shane, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back, my friends. Does the game start at 6 or 7? I'm led to believe it starts at 1. My time, anyway. Starts now. Started 5 minutes ago. Seriously, I don't know what is going on behind the scenes with this, these commentary teams on NFL Game Pass, but they but they are broadcasting behind the scenes conversations that should never have been allowed out. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're aware of it or not, but it seems to be happening on every single game. It's not right. <laughs> I feel for them. It's pretty fucking cringy. Teething problems. Uh, what's the score? You mean in this game? C6 family. It's, um, well, the game hasn't even started yet. Yes, sir. 83 degrees in Denver. And the Denver Broncos kick the ball off. It will be a touchback. Ninety-seven degrees. That's that's almost um, forty odd degrees Celsius. That's a that's a hot one. What's the uh, what's the the uh, what's it called? Humidity like in Texas? Jeepers, he's going absolutely nowhere. Who was that? Number fifty six, Browning, for the Broncos. Doesn't want a bar of that. I bet Texas is dry heat. Fuck that. Yeah, well, I'm. Um, yeah, well, I mean, it's bad in South Texas, like swimming in a pool of gravy. Yeah, the further. Well, I mean, the further towards the the ocean you get, I assume, the worse it's going to be. Would that be right? Oh no. Oh no, we've got a player sprawled on the ground, injured within the first 40 seconds of the game. I don't know what's wrong. I can't tell. I feel like it's his torso. He's not he's not doing well. It might be his arm. It might be his wrist. Don't think it's his legs. Let's see what's up. It's his left wrist, from what I can see.
you don't like to see it. <laughs> Look at the cameramen. Look at them. The five... F f f what? What? Are they working for different news outlets or what? Five identically dressed cameramen with five identical cameras standing in the exact same spot. Huh? Anyway, we've got a, a stall. The, the, the game is stalled. The game has stopped. 40 seconds in, and the camera's stopped. It's frozen. She's frozen. I can still hear the background noise. No, we're on here. Jonas Griffith, a six foot four, two hundred and fifty pound inside linebacker, has unfortunately been injured in the first forty seconds of the game. And we continue. Dallas Bull at the 28. Oh, definitely throw the flag. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Look at the defender try to say, nah, it wasn't me. Look at my hands. Show me your hands. Alex, what channel are we watching the game? Um, NFL Game Pass. Preseason matches are free, believe it or not. So I jumped on it. Dallas punt it from the 25. I don't know about the camera work this game. It's not following the ball. At all. So I didn't see that return, but apparently it was pretty good. Not a problem, Alex. You're welcome. For once, I'm actually recommending a um, a legal streaming service. Feels good. Must admit, it does feel good. I feel like I'm on the right side of the law, you know what I mean? Denver Broncos are stuffed, going absolutely nowhere. Dubsy. What I'm wondering is how are you listening to me in the pub? Are you listening via headphones? Or have you got the um, subtitles on? Or maybe you're just doing lip reading. I don't know. I'd be impressed. Got the ear potties in, mate. Yeah, nice.
All right, what do we got here? Third and 14. That's a pass out to the flats. It's a fumble. Could have been a return pick six. But something happened there. Gaines Creed. Oh, good question, bro. How did everything end up going with Iowa Central possibly playing Juco Ball? So I went up to um, get my visa granted in Auckland in May. And the lady um, told me in no, in, in no uncertain terms that I simply did not have enough money to uh, fund my trip for two years. Uh, my plan was to have enough for the first year, make YouTube videos and fund it with that in the second year. She didn't see it that way. And in fact, I couldn't mention that because I was, I'm, I'm not allowed to work in America. So I was caught between a rock and a hard place. I had to accept it. I had to leave the office with my tail between my legs and say, right, what am I going to do here? Do I actually want to spend double that amount of money? Can I actually get that amount of money in my account, whether I have to pay it back or not? And I came to the conclusion that it actually wasn't worth it, which was so hard to accept. But that was back in May. Depressed for two months. It's been about a month since, and I'm feeling better. Moving on with my life. Moving on to the next stage. I don't know what that is. Casey, how are you watching it? I'm watching it on uh, NFL Game Pass. Preseason matches are free, believe it or not. All right, I'm off, says Stubbsy. Enjoy the day of NFL and I bet top New Zealand weather. Yeah, that's nice. Well, it's nice for me. 13 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. Beauty. Have a great time at the game, bro. Much love. Huh? What's going on here? And yeah, that is the story of my journey to yeah, to to the states. I mean, I learned a lot. There really is no, well, shh, look, the amount of money I spent, two trips to Auckland, all of the fees, all of the fucking everything, you know, it's just, uh, Dallas ball, camp deep in their own half. It's a quick... Oh, could have been an interception, not quite. By the way, let me get this uh, scoreboard um, for you guys, just so... Yeah, that, that should be fine. Yes, sir, is like saying yo. All right, then. Does that mean you're saying yo, how are you? Well, I'm doing great, mate. Fantastic. I understand. I really wish you the best, bro. I just want to say, 
I just want you to know you inspired me to get up and go to a tryout. I ran a 4.3 40-yard dash. <laughs> and he gave me a spot as a wide receiver. Sick. Congratulations. Can I show the game in full screen? I would if I could. I am sorry, I may get red to fifth filth for the Broncos. Should have started Wilson and the starting offense. This is a new team with a new head coach and a new quarterback. This is a waste of time. That. Are you have you been drinking tonight, Matt? DJ says I need to go and do a Des Bryant reaction, man. Right now? Right this minute, or? Jesus, look at my double chin. Tell you what, that's not good. That's what being 225 pounds does to you. When you should probably be around the 200 mark. Fucking hell. Voice to speech recognition sucks. There. I don't like it, mate. I don't like it. I look like a peanut head. Anyway, Broncos ball. First quarter, nil-nil. As you can see, because I've got the scoreboard down there. And that's how we're going to do it this year. We don't have the background commentary, but I, I can bring you the scoreboard at the very least. I think that's, I think that's, that's fairly decent. It's a live scoreboard. It means that if you're watching it, if you're watching the same game as me, you can, you can tune in and see exactly what I'm saying. That's that's the right way to do this. That is the right way to sort of watch with me, you know what I mean? Broncos have a full back in play. They'll go the other way. Oh! Not quite. Off the fingertips. You're going to grow your long beard again? Probably not, bro. <laughs> Honestly, um... <laughs> Imagine if you saw me for the very first time with that beard, which is quite possible. I had it throughout 2018, 2019. Um, fuck, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a real... A real commitment. It's just not one I'm willing to do at the moment. But I'll tell you what, if I can't get rid of this double chin, I might just do it. I guess you'll find out. Yeah, big commitment, mate. And the Broncos boom the punt from the 35, comes down at the 20. It's only 45 yards on the full. 34 yards, what's he doing? Anyway, geez, I had a deja vu then, I tell you what, I had a real deja vu.
Doesn't happen often, does it? But when it does, it's hits different. Hmm. For whatever reason, that punt coming up short, then him coming off the field. Not sure. Might be right, Sean. Might be right. Do you reckon I should just stay here completely still? See what happens? Just like this. Alright, three, two, one. Go. Jeez, I think my my throat's actually cramping up there. Fucking hell, that was different. <laughs> oh god, I'm an idiot. The Seahawks vs Steelers game has been great so far, says Darren. And I've missed the whole entire thing. What I want to know is how has this game been on for 25 minutes and we're only 5 minutes into the play? That's what I want to know. Alright, tell a joke. Um, okay. What do you call a sheep mixed with a kangaroo? Look, if you could spell through right, I might just do that, but unfortunately you've let me down there. You do realise I said a sheep and a kangaroo. It's a woolly jumper. You tell me a joke. 
Tell me a riddle. Has anyone got any riddles? I don't mind a good riddle, honestly. Just give me time to think about it, that's all. Make sure it's actually possible to be to, to, to solve too. <laughs> Oh, sup, sup, sup. Out of outside clothes, into loungewear. Hello. My friend from across the pond. Why did the gorilla take his banana to the doctor? Jeez. Oh, Depending on your age... I'm just not quite sure. That's not a riddle though. Has anyone got a really decent riddle? Do you know the video that I've been watching the most of on YouTube recently has been Puzzles. It's a short, a YouTube short, so to speak. Um, and they are of puzzles. Um, to be honest, mate, that is, uh, that is severely underwhelming. Severely. I'm going to put this same joke to the chat right now. What do you call a sheep mixed with a kangaroo? First one to get it wins a prize. That's not bad. That is not bad. I don't believe that you come up with it. Well, actually, I do believe that. Well done. The Broncos stuff the the Cowboys. It's going to be fourth and two. What are they going to do? Love it. They're going to go for it. They've got trips right. What are they going to do? They've got one guy out to the... Oh, it's an interception! Right in the bread basket. Tell you what, that is not what you like to see. Yep, see you later, Gibson. Juni, 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 Juni! Peace, mate. Christian Anderson with the, the great question. How am I watching the game? Well, via my high-speed internet connection and NFL Game Pass. Game Pass has got free streams of all pre-season um, action prior to the start of the regular season. So if you're looking at just watching the preseason and you don't have any money, go to NFL Game Pass, sign up, and you can get free access just like me. No credit card details required. Unbelievably. I mean, you hear that a lot, but. In this case, it's actually true. Excuse me, you don't deserve a game ball for taking one goddamn reception. Interception? My bad. Oh, maybe he does. How many game balls do they have for each game? Seriously. I've seen at least a couple taken from each each game I've watched thus far. Um, I'm assuming they've probably got at least 20.
Well, seeing the reaction of his teammates, I suppose an interception in your first game in the league as a rookie does deserve to take the game ball. I take it back. All right, let's look at Russell Wilson. 5'11", 215 pounds, 11th year in the league. He's got a younger sister, Anna, who played basketball last year at Stanford. He was drafted twice in the MLB. First, he was right out of high school when drafted by the Baltimore Orioles in 2007, and secondly in 2010. Impressive. There he is on the sidelines. Right, we've got a full back on the field. We've got a receiver crossing to the left. The full back goes up the middle. Doesn't really do too much, and it's uh, stuffed for zero yards. Denver Broncos pick up a nice 30-yard reception. Mr. McGee, my pleasure. Peace out, mate. Tell you what, that was a dominant defensive tackle. Pushed him back about 10 yards. Too bad the, the play is called as soon as they catch it, or else... I don't know if I like that rule, to be honest. Where they catch the ball, the furthest part down the field that they... achieve with the ball in hand is considered the down. I don't know if I like that. They should have the opportunity to lose yards if the defence is dominant. Just my opinion. Third and two, a single running back in the backfield. They don't give it to him, but they do roll out. Oh, and he's dropped it. He's dropped it. He had bundles of space. Just couldn't make the most of it. 
Oh, mate. Tell you what, that is a that is a 99% play. And unfortunately, it was just the 1%. Fourth and two, let's go. What happened last time? Oh, well, he won't be doing much with that. That's uh, that's a big sack. <sighs> $5 super chat. Let's call, it a, let's call it a channel donation from Becky. All blacks are doing well, so I hear from a family in New Zealand. Well, they... Cut the losing streak uh, this morning, so that's fantastic. I I set my alarm at 2 o'clock. The game started at the 3. I was back asleep by 2.01. Um, so I wasn't here for it, but it would have been great to watch live. But yeah, really, really happy they've done that. Honestly, I'm, 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 I'm most happy for the coaching staff, just so they don't have to hear so much shit from the New Zealand public over the next couple of weeks. Um, I had a feeling we'd win. Haven't seen the game yet, but yeah. Great to hear. We won against the hardest team in the world in their own country. You can't get much better than that. Yeah, they beat the Springboks, yeah. Pretty high scoring game too, over 50 total points. So, um, would have been fun to watch. I haven't seen it yet. Thank God they won, man. Otherwise, I just, yeah, I just hate to see, I'd, I'd hate to read the, the papers, the headlines this week if we had a lost. But, we got it done. If anything, I just want to see the hucker. Got a nice wee trick play here. Bit of a flea flicker. Not quite, but... Um, it's a gain of three? Gain of two. Third and three. Okay, uh, cancel that. It was an offensive penalty holding. 10 yards. The amount of positive offensive plays I've seen today so far that have been brought back due to an off offensive penalty normally holding. Is unbelievable. More sports need to incorporate dance routines prior to the onset of a game. <laughs> um, this is yeah, you could call it a dance, but it's it's a. It's a definite challenge. It's a definite war dance. Um, but hey, I get it. <laughs> All right, so let me just let me just go over to the um, to the UFC just quickly. Let's see what's happening over there. Oh shit! The main event! The main event is on currently. Okay, we're going to pause that. We're going to watch the main event of the evening Cheeto Vera versus Dominic Cruz. Let's go. I'm going to change the title on this shit. I'm going to change the title. Sorry, guys.
shit. Oh my god, what's happening? Here we go. Decent! I'm excited for this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go, baby. Now, Cruz, Cruz is a cool cat. He comes in, comes out. He's all over the place, got a lot of head movement. Um, Cheeto Vera, all I can see is tattoos. Fuck. Alright. See if we can get any viewers in here, eh? What do you reckon? Five round main event, that's what we want. At the end of the day, that's all you want. Especially in a bantamweight fight. Oh, Dominic Cruz is dominating thus far. I wouldn't call it a takedown. But he seems to have the edge in strength and speed thus far. It is early in the first round, but it is what it is. Oh! Cheeto Vera takes takes the leg kick, checks it, and drops him with a, with a straight left hand. A straight jab. Absolutely just drops Dominic Cruz. But he was in the motion of throwing a leg kick, so... You know, I'm not going to say it really meant too much. He got straight back up. And he's go oh, he's going hard. He's going forward. Both. Oh, Dominic Cruz is looking absolutely explosive. He's smiling. He's smiling. He's talking. He's chatting in there. I want Cruz to win, by the way. Tell you what, he's going in there like Holly Holm. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, we've had some early moments, that's for sure. 2 minutes 23. 2.20. As you can probably see. I just hope we see 5 rounds of good action, to be fair. Mm, Shido throws the teep kick up the middle. Just misses. I'm going to say probably less than an inch away from Dominic Cruz's chin. Dominic Cruz is absolutely firing. Wowee. He's got some pep about him. I like to see it. It's what you do like to see. But Vera's not going to go anywhere. He does need to be first, though. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know if I like Cruz's combinations thus far. They're a little bit willy-nilly. Cruz has Vera on the ground. He's taken him down. Ah, oh, a big elbow to the top of Cruz's head. That is not going to be nice. There's going to be a big egg on the top of his head tomorrow. Oh no, Cheetah's got a... Cheeto went for a, a, a submission off of his back. Um, Cruz wanted nothing to do with that. Cruz is on his feet, giving him some kicks in the ass, And it is the end of the first round. Let me get a decent display picture. Cruz versus Vera. Download that shit. Um, okay, we'll grab that. Yes, save image. Boom. Okay. Edit. 
at what happens here. Okay, save. Boom. I want Cruz to win, guys. Not sure about you. Not sure if you're even watching it. If you're not, I'd have to recommend it. It's the main event of the evening. That's what we're all here for. I guess this is going to be a wee bit of an experiment. We'll see if we can actually get some viewers in here that want to see the main event of the evening. It's not a pay-per-view though, so I can't imagine too many people wouldn't be able to see it free, or at least on ESPN. But we'll see. Cruz wins the first round, but he hasn't done any damage whatsoever. I guess you just hope that Cruz has the gas tank to keep this pace up because he's gone out like a bat out of hell in the first round. Um, but he's been dropped. He's the only one that's been dropped. So, but he did win the first round. So get another, get this round under your belt, and then it's going to be all uphill for for Vera. To be fair, um, Cruz is swinging like a wild man, though I must admit. Jesus Christ. Cheetah's looking cool, calm, and collected. I'm not going to lie. Really cool, calm, and collected. Oh, nice right hand by Dominic Cruz. Oh, both, both fighters trade jabs. in the middle of the cage like I say Dominic Cruz is he's lively Cruz is talking to him too he's, he's in a good mood oh big right hand by Cruz and I tell you what Vera just ate it Five rounds is so much different than, than, than three, though, isn't it? Now, I tell you what, both these guys are so experienced. No wonder it's a main event. It's a great fight so far. Tell you what, Cruz is firing with everything he's got, but he's not landing. As far as the punches are concerned, the kicks are landing, but... He comes forward like Holly Home, one two, one two, one two. None of them are landing. I mean, but Vera needs to do something. That's the thing. He needs to take the round somehow. And I don't know who's won this one thus far. Dominic Cruz is a two-time UFC champion, by the way. Crazy, eh? Pretty sure he bit Dillashaw at some point. Maybe he lost to Dillashaw.
And this is um, Cruiser's hometown, by the way, isn't it? So that's why the crowd's behind him. Makes sense now. Tell you what, he's he's in, he's in and out like a fiddler's elbow. Cheeto's really not. He's not doing much. He's not doing much at all. He's just he's sort of weathering the storm. I reckon in the third round he's going to come out and try and turn the tables because he's going to need to. I'd say this is Cruiser's round. Vera is obviously looking at a five-round fight, being that they're two rounds in and he hasn't really thrown too many punches whatsoever. He's just... He has dropped him once, though, but it didn't win him the round. I'm going to say two rounds to cruise, one, uh, two rounds to cruise, uh, three rounds to go. The rounds are close, but Cruz has two rounds in the bank, and I'm going to say Vera needs to win this round, and that's exactly what his coach, what, what his corners told him. Now, if Cruz's cardio can hold up th during this round, and he banks three rounds to none, Dominic Cruz is going for the kill. But I tell you what, none of these, none of these. Big head kick by both guys trading head kicks. Um, Vera needs to bite down on his gum shield. He needs to get in there, do some damage. He knows he can drop him. Do it again. Oh my god, Cruz is just... <laughs> the way that he comes in and out like this is just insane. But he does tend to land. Cruz has got some crazy movement, I'll tell you that much. Vera's just trying to stalk him down, but at the end of the day, a minute 30 into the third round, he needs to do something soon. Oh, Vera drops him again! Cruz has been dropped, but he's up and firing back. Jesus, I tell you what, Vera's gone in twice, and he's dropped him twice. He needs to do it again. Because I'm telling you what, Cruz's shots are not hurting Vera whatsoever. Or at least it doesn't seem like it. He might be landing the more significant strikes, but are they significant? I don't know. He's been dropped twice. I reckon he's going to get dropped again this round. Vera just needs to aim and fire, not hope and swing. Oh. oh, oh, mate! Tell you what, Cruz can feel this now. Oh, Cruz is just swinging for the fences. Oh, the tape kick was about an inch away from his chin once again. That's the thing. Vera does need to do something to swing this round. 
I'd say he's probably got the best chance thus far of getting around in the, in this third. Oh, lovely, lovely takedown defense he, by Vera. See, now, why is Cruz going for a takedown? We know why, right? Oh. Just can't I, Cruz is landing, but it's just it just doesn't seem to have the the power behind it. He's doing what he needs to do. He's being the more busy fighter, which could sway the judges and has swayed the judges. And to be honest, I mean, Vera's really done nothing to to win this round convincingly except for dropping him once and Dominic just got straight back up. So Vera needs to do something in this last 50 seconds. No doubt about it. He needs to get in there. Yeah, but man, the only way... I don't know, man. I'm I'm liking the way Cruz is fighting this fight thus far. He can't be, he, he can't do much else except for dropping Vera, and he hasn't just hasn't done that. Oh, a couple of twelve to six elbows on the head. Can't feel good. Ten seconds. Let's see what the Twitter the Twitter feed thinks. Jeez, I don't know, man. Could be 3 0. Could be 3 0. I feel like Cheeto Vera is letting himself down right now. What do you guys think? You reckon Dom's going to drop Cheeto? Absolutely not. I reckon Dom's going to get dropped again. I want him to win. But I feel like Cheeto is going to come out like guns blazing and drop the motherfucker. Watch this. Watch this. All right, let's see. Let's see what's up. Watch the attrition. Well, I would say at this point, Vera has had zero damage. But Cruz won the first two rounds. So best case for Cheeto Vera right now, it's 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 uh two rounds to one in, in favour of Cruz. Yeah, no one could think that Dominic's losing right now. Worst case scenario it's two rounds to one. So this round's huge. <gasps> See, told you! Vero dropped the motherfucker. That's the third time. But it hasn't he hasn't he hasn't he hasn't capitalized whatsoever. But he's dropped him three times in four rounds. Jeez. Vera needs to just just bite down on his gum shield and just get in there. His defense has been fantastic. He hasn't he hasn't been hit hard. I'm not saying I'm any expert, but this is what I'm seeing right now.
<gasps> no! Cheeto Vera with the head kick lands clean and drops Dominic Cruz like a bag of bricks. Well, unfortunately, I feel like Dominic Cruz has just had his nose broken via Vera's shin. And I will say, the better fighter has won tonight. Oh, his nose is completely broken in half, bro. Oh, no. Oh, his nose, G. Oh, you are kidding me. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. You could see it break right in the... F oh, fuck me. Oh, what a finish. What a finish. That's the thing, man. That's the thing. Dom punched himself out. Cheeto Vera defended extremely well. And in the fourth round, the championship round, he comes comes through with the head kick. Holy shit. Oh, the nose, bro. Let's have another look at that. I have to have another look. And then I'm going to switch back to the footy. Fuck. Oh... Oh, you hate to see it, but you love to see it at the same time. Jesus Christ. That wasn't nice. Oh, mate. Come on, get this ad break off. I want to see, I want to see the, oh God, do I want to see it? I think I do. Can you, can you, did I say better fighter? I, I'm going to say the right guy won, yeah. Um, Look, I wanted Dom to win, that, that was sad. I reckon he was up three runs to none, but, um, can you imagine how his how that would feel? Can you imagine how he's feeling right now? His nose is sideways. That is horrible. Anyway, let's listen to the Octagon interview and get a breakdown of this head kick. Bro, Dom got dropped three times prior to that. Oh, here we go. Here's the finish. Ah! He dropped his head into it too. That is so shit. You know, I'd much rather him just get completely clean knocked out and not have to deal with a broken nose. I really would. It's just sad. Anyways, guys, um, much love, and I will go back to the game. 
It's the second quarter, would you believe? Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. Well, I'm glad I. I'm. Look, if if nothing else, I am glad we watched that together. That was fun. Um. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, mate. <sighs> he won't be able to breathe right now. Everything will be ringing. It'll be just be. Uh, he won't be. He will no, we'll not be able to fucking breathe at all. You know, it's just so terrible. I feel for the cunt. You know what I mean? That was just sad. Very, very sad. But that's the UFC for you. Thrill in the agony. He was, mate. He was. He was well on his way. Three rounds to none, I'd say. Honestly. Uh, oh, it's hard to say that because he did get dropped in that third, but... Fuck, bro. Anyway. We're back to the football. And actually, what we could do is... Um, What we could do is head over to the final game of the day, which is the Chargers and the Rams. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's just bad luck. I mean, he dipped his head, ran straight into a head kick. Not many people are going to be able to cop that at all Pretty much, mate, yep. Every time he did, yeah. I was calling for him to get in there more, but obviously he's just biding his time, and I don't know. I don't know if it's a lucky head kick or what, but yeah, worked out pretty damn well for him. That's for sure. Yeah, Cheeto's definitely definitely powerful. No doubt about that. I reckon a good rematch should be um Cheeto versus um In fact I reckon if O'Malley beats Yarn, it'll be Cheeto Vera versus O'Malley once more. What do you guys reckon? What's next for Cheeto Vera?
Let's go Rams. I got a chance to see them practicing on opening day a few weeks ago. Aaron Donald is a beast out there. Kind of scary. Cooper Cup is much bigger than what the TV gives him credit for. Yeah, six foot two. You know, two hundred and what twenty pounds, whatever. Big receiver. Don't know about Cheeto, but if O'Malley loses, how about Dom versus O'Malley? If Dom comes back, mate, he's going to be out for six months. So sad. But if Mike Perry, if Mike Platinum Perry can get get a, get his nose straight, then uh, Dominic can get his nose straight too, and he's going to need it because he's he's on TV, you know. Fuck. Oh well, we'll wait to see what Ariel Hawani says. If he gets Dominic on, I'm assuming Dominic Cruz will come on the show, even with a broken nose. So that'll be interesting. I'll I'll listen to the the interview, and report back. Right guys, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be back with the fourth and final game of the day, and that is the um, the Rams. Tough alright mate. The Rams versus the Chargers, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. I'll see you there. Be there or be square. Like the video on your way out, and you'll be an absolute legend. Peace.